This is why Kate Middleton probably won't become the godmother of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry in case you didn't get the royal memo, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's first child is due this spring. And you know how the saying goes, first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes an extremely extra christening complete with an ancient lacy dress and a mile-long list of godparents. So, which lucky people who aren't named Samantha Markle will make the kit? Unclear but almost certainly not on the list is a duchess by the name of Kate Middleton. And no, it has nothing to do with the reported feud between her and Meghan. It's just sort of how the royals do things, siblings, and presumably their significant others, simply are not godparent material. In fact, neither Kate nor Prince William should expect to be godparents to Lil Thomas Markle Jr. Jr., and for what it's worth, Harry isn't a godparent to either his niece or his nephews. If you're looking for an official explanation, Royal correspondent Robert Jobson said, around the time Prince George was being christened, that because he's an immediate relative, Harry will have a role in opening bracket the baby's closing bracket life anyway. That said, it's possible Harry and Meghan could bend protocol and name Kate and William godparents. Crazier things have happened, and it's not like family members are totally off-limits. In fact, the Cambridges have some distant fame on their list of godparents, including Lord Fellows. Princess Diana's niece, Adam and Lucy Middleton, Kate's cousins, and Zara Tyndall, William's cousin. Okay, fine, so WHO asterisk is asterisk on Meghan and Harry's list. We have a full breakdown right this way, but some highlights include Jessica and Ben Mulroney are Meghan's best friend slash stylist and her husband, whose kids were in Meghan and Harry's royal wedding party. Misha Nanu Misha and her ex-husband Alexander Gilks are rumored to be the people who introduced the Duchess to Prince Harry which makes sense because Harry and Alexander went to school together. Lindsay Jill Roth a close friend who Meghan has known since their college days. Fun fact, Meghan was maid of honor in Lindsay's wedding, so the likelihood of her being named a godparent seems pretty damn high. Zoe and Jake were on friends of Harry's whose daughter was also in the royal wedding. Fee Jake was one of Princess Diana's godsons so there's a strong family history there. George and Amal Clooney Meghan and Harry are super chummy with the Cloonies, and the Daily Mail recently reported that they're all but confirmed to be picked, with a source saying Amal and Meghan have been close for years, and Harry and George have become buddies because of that. They're much closer than the headlines led on. Side note, how do I get invited to their double dates? Again, it's possible that Harry and Meghan will be all protocol. F asterisk CK that noise, but way more posh, and pick Kate and William to be godparents, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.